Jeff, 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 Jeff. Oh, gotta dance. Oh, I hate when they put the music in and I have to dance to it. Can't stop dancing. Oh. Come on, man. Uh. Jess and friends often wear clothes. I feel like they just need to go up one's eyes. Like, I, I sort of have clothes from when I was a little bit skinnier. I'm like, oh, I'm going to fit back into these. And I put them on I'm like, Ugh. I just one size, just one more size and maybe be more comfortable. So I'm saying very soakable. I like how they have again, just put some clothes on the fit, please, please. I just feel I, you know, it's not, it's not, I'm not body shaming her or anything like that. Jess fam's had kids. She looks great for having kids. She looks great for having kids. Let's give Jess a little pass on this. Cause she's a redhead and she's different body shaped than most. Right. Your feet are. And then I woke up this morning and they're Also your toes are nasty. Oh. What's up, fam? What are you wearing? Good morning. Good early morning. <laughs> well. Filters help. It's so bad. I was gonna say what's up, fam? No. It's not the lighting. It's you. This is the wrong <laughs> I think she's sponsored by the shorts company too, and don't buy those. <laughs> She's sponsored by this sh shorts company because nope. Stop wearing yellow. Why does she always wear so much yellow? And it was all yellow. Is it like this is, is yellow match with red hair? I don't care. Nobody wears yellow because it's not good. Especially on pale skin. You shouldn't wear yellow on pale. I mean, you don't go. Like yellow on pale skin, especially on a redhead. No, yellow on like dark skin looks really good. Like it's a, it's a contrasting thing, right? But no, you're you can't even tan, Jess. So it doesn't even work for you. Mm -hmm. Listen to everybody around you. It's no in the yellow. Oh yeah, stop with the yellow, Jess. I don't know who told you. Yellow looks good on you. It doesn't. Yellow is your arch nemesis. That's let's just okay. Stop it, I'm sorry, but I'm rewinding <laughs> and I'm slowing it down. I don't care what you say. Oh, these, this slide is, I mean, again, it's not going to be flattering for anybody. How is the bikini sitting like that? Is there like a metal rod in there? How is it doing that? Also, no. And I am still. So what are you doing? Stop it. Look at this. Always right here and right here. Are you sure we're bathing suit? That's not so scandalous. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't wear a slutty bathing suit. Don't what are you wearing, Hannah? do so i brought a little travel sized aloe because your girl is hurt and i was trying to sleep last night and these this hurt the most i've got this little awkward bathing suit on now thank god she called it out she knows it's awkward yes where do you buy this who makes this sheen shine sheen but again you guys know i'm vanilla i'm a loser <laughs> oh don't do that please why would you do that stop bouncing around yeah baby How do you not just cringe with embarrassment when you're editing this? She probably only put the best footage of that in there. I would be like, cringe of myself. Oh, look, I know I'm all shapes as well. So that's why I don't do this. Cool. Okay. Dude, Hannah, it's weird to me. Hannah looks in some ways she could be 20. And then if you look at her in a different angle, she's 78. That is, it's an enigma. It's really, really weird. 
It's like the witch from Tangled, the mom when she 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 falls out of the building and turns to dust. <laughs> Hannah just saved me. She Mother knows best. Right. Good morning, you <laughs> beautiful. Hey Happy beautiful. Feeling. <laughs> She's feeling good. A million bucks. So well, you look like a million dollars. Monopoly money. Someone had it. He was cute. Burn. Okay, <laughs> she's so out. Oh my goodness. So I don't know. I don't look at this sexy mom. Look, I know I'm all just shapes as well, but relax. The forehead ratio in this picture. <laughs> Look, I know I got a big forehead too. Big forehead people unite. I wish you could teach me how to be classy. Kira is just not, is also shapes. <laughs> and telling someone why they have the best or worst speech body of 2021 is not, not constructive. constructive. I'm pretty sure if I go back into Jess Femme's video, you'll hear her talking about trying to get beach body, bikini body. I guarantee it. Also, let's not forget, Jess Femme has done multiple surgeries to her body to get her body the way she wants. So who is she to say anything to anybody? If it's, if it's accept everybody for the R, but you go out and get tons of surgeries, I don't, like, I don't understand your logic. Thing. I agree. Shouldn't be making fun of people's looks, but let's not forget that influencer culture perpetuates this. You put yourself online, okay? You put out this look, you get surgeries, you do all the things, you get Botox, you, you do whatever it takes to make yourself look perfect. Chess fam, you know, tries, okay? And so all these my yummy mommies and family vloggers and all these influencers on the on, in the culture that you're talking about here, you make this terrible for those who can't achieve it. So those of us who come in here and talk about influencer culture and how bad it is, that's why we do it. What are your guys' thoughts? Like what are your thoughts? Or you could say, what are your guys' thoughts? Guyses? Not a word. Thank you for not trying. You need to look at it. Bye bye me. Me and Chris came to. Chris and I. Okay. Here are dry and hot. Me and my brother would swim. Out my brother and I. For hours, and it was me and my brother. Would my brother and I. So much fun. But I had no idea. I just pulled a nine-minute video off the internet, and let's go through every time she says the word like, because. It's fun. We're like, 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 like. Here's the thing. If you're gonna come leave a comment on my shit and you don't watch me, that sucks for you. Because oh my god, go to school. Did Jess Fam teach you English? Oh my god, she has way more ADD than the average person. This girl straight crazy. Holy crap. That's Adderall right there for you. She's like, you guys want pasta? Pillow or water? What do you guys want? What are you guys gonna eat? Kids are all like, mom, chill. You want the guitar wooden spoon or the uh, regular haunted spoon? What do you guys want? Yeah! Subscribe! Holy shit, I thought I was crazy.
Hello, friends, and welcome to the Beauty and the Dad Bod Pod. Welcome back. And I just took my Adderall about 30 minutes ago, so that'll be kicking in soon. So the conversation's going to get about 20 times faster than this. And there's like a time difference in the from my California here, and I was like, told you, I forgot. This takes fun fact. This whole video is so super long, and it's going to say a bunch of shit. People look at me funny because I'm a YouTuber, I'm eating, and I'm going to check it out. Oh my god, you just do it. You make me so nice. <laughs> like. <laughs> We talked a little bit about it in there, but we have like. Um, if you're looking at my podcast, it's a Fantastic Four. I mean, I can't talk. <laughs> like, okay, like, 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 like. If you don't listen to po- and, like, there's quarantine. <laughs> my Adderall is just. It's there. It's 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 it's. I just took it. Like. Tommy King are actually leaving today. They're going back. They spend the second half of their winter break at their mom's house. They're leaving. So like, totally going skating. Like. <laughs> And we haven't been skating for like two years and th- three years and stuff. Last time someone else died, but you know, we're gonna get the van, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat so much sugar and I took my Adderall and stuff like that, but I just still can't, you know, I'm just, I feel like I'm just like a little bit, you know, I feel like I'm just moving a little bit too slow. Jeez, Jess fam. I usually take breaks from it on the weekends, Yeah. Um, but I'm actually not going to, because it actually helps curb my appetite and weekends is when I like go crazy because I'm at home. Yeah. But I've heard that Adderall and ADD medications often will um, curb people's creative ability. It actually increases mine like tenfold. Like I become a superhero. So, um, and I can do many things like cleaning. I can focus. Yeah. Undiagnosed until I was about 35. Damn. I didn't start taking medicine until I was about 38. And it was a game changer. And I swear to God, if I would have been able to take this type of medicine when I was in college or in high school, I would have had a better than a 60%. Yeah. Um, I would have become a rocket scientist. Yeah, I would. And we don't know what to eat. Everything is closed. So, hey, everybody, blah, 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 eat food. I've been sitting in the car for four hours. I just want to, like, you know, just want to get out and get something to eat and pee and, you know, just walk around and shit like that. She's walking by tweakers, are like, hi. Yeah, I get it. No, I'm, I've been there. <laughs> People are giving her dollar bills and shit in the street. She's not her mom, she's like a cool friend, right? <laughs> Six minutes? <laughs> He's more mature than she is. <laughs> this is a mother. An adult mother. An adult in general. Negative vibes. I'm gonna write a song. I don't like you much. I really think you're dumb. So when it comes to sending vibes, I'll send you bad ones and I hope you are denied. Just remember what the dad challenge said, girl, you smell like rotten cheese. Yeah, you act like you are 13. Shall we continue? Let's, let's show it. Good morning! <laughs> she didn't feel like get her boob. She's pumping, so. She's, oh, she's pumping, she's pumping because I think they're drinking, and so she's pumping to dump it. Right, you drink a little, pump it, get all the alcohol out of your breast milk, I think that's what they're doing. But that's weird. Doesn't she, if you're breastfeeding, do you, do you travel? Like, do you leave? What did your kitty? I guess you pump, 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 and then you just like leave all the milk there enough to feed your baby for the days that you're gone. I guess I feel that's a little bit weird. I'm just saying, you're breastfeeding and going to party with a bunch of basic bimbos in Nashville. I just okay. Breastfeeding life. You was, can I share your moment yesterday when you had yes. the pump on one side and a can of white claw meat? <laughs> <laughs> So classy. You're drinking while pumping your breast milk. It's so awesome. Booze and we need uh, breakfast. You know. Booze and breakfast makes sense to me. The two best combos. Where are your children during COVID? Oh my God, I literally just want my kids to be here right now. So why didn't you bring your kids? Because yeah. you're selfish. Look, guys, I'm not saying you shouldn't be able to enjoy a vacation with your spouse and have some fun. I get that. I just feel like if you go on a cruise ship without your family, I'm like, oh, I just maybe a weekend away or something like that, but literally going somewhere your kids would love as a parent, it hits me different. So my best friend is planning a bachelorette party for me. We're going to have a pleasure party and just hang out and drink. LMFAO. I thought it would be a nice chance to get all of us mommies together without kids and hang out. And I'm just going to leave these here. 
Ha ha ha. This is Jess Fam in all her glory. The mother vlogger, the mom of the year. Raise your hand if you're a mom in this room and you do this shit. Uh, hardworking. Let's, let's land there again. Hardworking. Can you explain to me what hardworking work that she does? If by sticking a camera up her nostrils every two seconds and playing with her hair and saying, like, then maybe, yeah, I guess that's kind of hardworking. It's not hardworking. Stop telling me that family vloggers are hardworking. They're not. There's not really any Christmas decorations up. <laughs> Why? Why not, Just Fam? You don't do anything. This is another thing I hate about family vloggers is they make tons of money and they're like, oh, I don't cook. Why? You are home all day long. You don't have a job. You stay at home. The cameras watch your kids, Jess fam. Why don't you do things? Explain it, hire somebody then. What is wrong with these people? They are so lazy. Like now I would have gotten so much hate for it. Yeah. Well, why don't you buckle your kid right then? You should get hate for not buckling your kids in your seats. Okay? And she's not a person that makes good choices. One of the major issues we, we, we don't talk about, and her fans obviously don't want to talk about either, is this idea of so many different fathers in the picture. Okay, So if you look at the, this, this picture of her family, these kids are all going out to separate dads. Okay, And that is crazy, because not only are they only half brothers and sisters, it is not conducive to raising a family. It's not good. It's not conducive to good parenting. That's what I'm saying. Come at me all you want. I'm, just, I'm not going to apologize for it. It's not conducive to good to like to this, to a family unit. It's an important video because there is kids in here who have parents that are that they're co-parenting. Everybody's co-parenting here. There's like 45 different parents in Jess Bam's life right now. This is such a crazy world and life that these kids lead. All different baby daddies, all different walks of life, all different when they go out for Christmas and all these things. It's just it's not cohesive. It's actually detrimental to children. I don't care what you guys say. The just the way that Jess Fam has led her life and the choices she has made have led her kids to a place where they're so discombobulated from different fathers and baby daddies and all these kinds of things and visitations and all that stuff that it's just I don't think it's that healthy. I don't think people that follow Jess Fam are like her, and they have this whole like not all of them, but a lot of them are like yeah, like it's. How do I say this without being super like judgy? There's no way to say it, but they're just like her. And that's nasty. Like the person said, I have three kids and five baby daddies or whatever the other lady said too. She's like, we're the same. Celebrate, celebrate making bad choices. We're gonna talk about Mom shaming. We're gonna Ooh. talk about hate. A lot of people are like, you mom shame, Josh. Do I mom shame? Do I? And again, let's be real. Who, okay, maybe I do. But which moms do I shame? Who do I shame? If that's what you want to call it. I shame those who deserve to be shamed. Okay? Maybe sometimes I deserve to be shamed. Sure. And if you want to call it shaming, okay, I'll take it. And I'm going to continue to do it. So, suck it. She thinks this is so funny. So basically what she's telling her audience here is that to the plan B, which is the, the pill that you take if you don't want to have a child, right? You, you, oh, I think we had unprotected sex and I don't want to get pregnant. She took plan B. If you know what plan B is, you know what plan B is, okay? Plan B is the, is the pill that you take after you've had unprotected SEX to make sure that the, I guess, the egg doesn't connect. Or I, Plan B is to help you to, you know, basically unpregnant yourself. Even I don't know. Basically, it's a it's it's how you terminate a pregnancy before it starts. I think. Taking during the first half of the menstrual cycle, emergency contraception works specifically to prevent ovulation. In cases where it's too late to inhibit ovulation, emergency contraception is thought to also thicken cervical mucus, trapping sperm. But emergency contraception prevents pregnancy before fertilization. No studies have shown an effect from emergency contraception if fertilization has already occurred. It does not stop implantation from happening, nor does it have any effect after implantation has occurred. In this way, it's unable to cause an 
And so she's laughing here uh, to the plan B I took. And this is the girl who comes in the, the picture and she's like, oh, I'm living. And the song is I'm out here living, though. I'm out here living, though. So Jess fam thinks it's funny to tell everybody that she wanted to terminate her pregnancy. Unable to cause an um, and But it didn't work. So whoops. And then but she's like, I'm out here living. She thinks this is a flex. So a lot of people will say, well, she's doing this for her kids. Is she? Then why do you do this? You know, why are you putting this on your living room wall? When every time your kids walk into your living room, you're reminded of something. What is it? You're reminded that your mom is the center of the universe. You're reminded that your wife is the center of the universe. And all of you guys are, are just extras in her world. I'm not going to go put a, you know, J-O-S-H. I'm not going to go put my name on the wall upstairs, okay? This is not a family. This is a mafia where Jess fam is the head. Okay. Nobody who is a good mom, who has a good family environment, honors themselves with their own plaque on their wall. To me, one of the most egregious things is this, what we're watching right here. This guy who has to hang it, who looks super happy that he has to hang that. Look at the wall. <laughs> Imagine going to someone's house. Welcome to the Jess fam house. The Jess belt, the house the Jess belt. Nobody else matters but me. Aw, that's nice, Jess fam. Glad you did that. I, I, it blows my mind that someone like this has the name of their channel on the home. And like, it, it actually, it doesn't surprise me because they will never have a normal childhood, right? And they can't have, can you imagine your friends over? What's that on your wall? Oh, that's the name of my mom's YouTube channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> that kid goes home and tells her parents like, well, let's not go there anymore, okay? Right. You know what bugs me? It's not, it's okay, fine. I get it that that's super narcissistic, putting your logo up on your wall. Selfish narcissist with the just fame on your wall. Dumb. But that it has three S's. <laughs> your name is literally emblazoned on your wall. She literally has a sign in her living room, Jess fam. But that, <laughs> you forgot to put like a Just Jess logo on the wall, loser. When you have Jess fam written on your, on your living room wall for everybody to see all the time, she is garbage at everything, and she has a sign on her living room wall of her name. She got pregnant to be on Teen Moms, and we have the receipts for it. I've got a video you can go watch about it. There is proof of this. It's not conjecture. She got pregnant at a young age, to this guy you see in the photo actually, to be famous, to try to get famous. I want to clarify that teen moms that have babies to get internet clout and fame and to become influencers are terrible people. That's it. This idea of 16 and pregnant and that it created this monster. 16 and pregnant is responsible for this and responsible for a lot of things. And we're going to dive into the, I think people have been saying that 16 and pregnant made it so that there were less teen pregnancies, which I think is utter and absolute bullshit. Led to a 5.7% reduction in teen births. A percentage that accounts for one third of the total decline in teen births. But, and if they're right and if the data is correct, Awesome, because yeah, people are watching these train wrecks, and this is the problem. We've glamorized train wrecks on these shows. As far as I'm aware, it didn't stop teen pregnancy. It just increased the big old A, termination. That's what it did. So teen births is maybe what they're trying to say here. utter and absolute bullshit because she's proof that people were doing it to try to get famous.
she gives me weird vibes and it almost triggers me to like when I was growing up with a mother that was, I am a product of a young mom myself. And again, I only have half brothers and sisters. My mother, four different dads, four kids, okay? I, my, my half brothers and sisters are half brothers and sisters, okay? And they have half brothers and sisters that I'm just discovering now. It's crazy, okay? When most of your kids are from different dads, that shit gets crazy because I come from a family. My mother had four children, four different dads. Very, who abandoned me, who treat, didn't treat her kids very well most of the time. Again, maybe it's because my mom did that when I was young. I never got to go on a vacation ever when I was young, okay? My mom did all the time. But I remember this one story. And my mom went away for three weeks to, to where did she go? It was like Cuba. For three weeks, guess how old I was? 13. Guess who stayed at home with me? Nobody. I was home alone for three weeks as a 13-year-old. She was very selfish um, and had addiction issues and that kind of thing. I'm also in a family where my sister, and she's given me permission to say this, is had her first child when she was 16 years old. So not only am I a product of a super young mom, um, I'm also very, very closely related to someone who went through these issues as a mom. And partly as a result of her past and partly as a result of decisions she made when she was a teenager, two of my kids are from my sister, okay? They're my nephews. So um, my sister, I have two of her kids. I've adopted two of my nephews. Uh, she has four kids, four different dads, okay? It gets crazy when you can't even keep track of that shit. So and it, I just see remnants of the bad parts of my upbringing in Jess. Like the, I see my mother in Jess fam. Although there was some really good stuff too. Don't get me wrong. I love my mother. God rest her soul. But um, I think that's probably why the Jess gets me a lot. And maybe that's why I'm, I'm projecting. And maybe that's why I don't like it. Maybe I don't like her behavior because I just had a shitty childhood. And I feel like I see a lot of what my sister and my mom did in Jess fam because she's a teen mom and she just, she's selfish. And it's like, and it's a hundred percent she's selfish.